Good evening, YouTube friends and family. This is Laura coming to you with another short video. And today's video, we're going to talk about there's always a Judas in the camp. There's always a Judas in the camp. And you guys know the story about um, how Judas, he was one of the disciples of Jesus and how he betrayed him. And that story can be found in John chapter 13, and it starts with verse 21. And I'm not going to go through that with you because you can take that and you can read it at your own leisure. But today I want to jump right into this video. Well, first of all, you may be thinking, what is a Judas? What makes a person a Judas? A Judas is someone who's prone to betrayal. And betrayal is a violation of trust by someone close to you. It can be a marriage partner, a friend, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat, a family member. It's someone who is prone uh, to betrayal. You know, they'll betray anyone, uh, mother, father, sister, brother, best friend, um, to get whatever they want. And that leads to the next description of a Judas. A Judas is always a, has a spirit of thievery, which means a thief, and also a spirit of greediness or jealousy and envy. And well, we all know what the Bible says about the thief. A thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So a Judas what does he come what does he or she come to do a judas can be a man or a woman a judas comes to steal your joy your peace your position they want what you have and they will do it by any they will take it by any means necessary they'll do whatever it takes to get what they want and they want what you have whether it's your joy your peace or your position in the bible jesus called Judas a son of perdition which means he's a man that was doomed to destruction a Judas also there's someone who is not a stranger they're not a stranger to you a Judas is someone that's close enough that when they hit you below the belt they're able to deliver a very crippling wound the wound that they they deliver to you will set you down it will knock the wind out of you so they're close enough to deliver a blow that will knock you down now a judas will appear to be as a friend and they're very hard to detect you'll never know that this friend is really an enemy a judas because what happens is that this judas will show you outward signs of loyalty they will build you up. They will compliment you. Um, they will be there for you. They will be there to talk about, you know, your most private manners and matters. And they will be there to basically to lift you up and try to get close enough to you to become like a best friend, a confidant. But the secret that makes them a Judas is that they're always looking for an opportunity to bring you down, to betray your trust. They will always, a Judas will always hit you when you're at your weakest. You will never see it coming. When it comes to a Judas, you will never see the hit that they're planning for you. You'll never see it coming. Because what happens is that all the time that they're pretending to be loyal and your confidant and your best friend, they're spreading lies and they're the ones that's bringing the negative report about you. And so that leads to the next question. Well, what is a Judas sent to do? What is a Judas really? Why is it that there's always a Judas in the camp? Whenever there's something good going on, whenever there's a group of people for one purpose or for a main purpose or to make something happen together, why is there always a Judas in the camp? Well, my friend, a Judas is always sent to dismantle you 
or dismantle whatever you're doing. Dismantle the group. Dismantle a church. Dismantle a place of employment. Dismantle a family, a friendship, a marriage. A Judas is always sent to dismantle. They want to stop your progress. They want to prevent you from fulfilling your purpose. A Judas wants to pervert your purpose. They also want to distract you enough to take you off your purpose, to get you all discombobulated and off track so that you cannot fulfill your purpose. And if you notice, a Judas will always show up. Check this out. <laughs> a Judas will always show up in your life when your life is taking a turn for the good. Sadly. I had to add that on to there. Sadly. A Judas will always show up in your life when your life is taking a turn for the good. Just when you're getting that promotion. Just when you're about to graduate from high school or from college. Just when you're about to land that good job or just when um, you're being elevated in the spirit, you know, just when you um, just when you've been invited to, to preach or your um, your gospel ministry, your singing ministry is taken off. Um, just when you're making a, a difference in your family or making the difference in the lives of other people, when you're doing good. And your your good work is 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 shown is being it's 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 being known by others. People are recognizing your good works. They other people see the good in you. People are people are recognizing you. Your um your ministry is taking off. It's gaining momentum. Okay. People are saying people are complimenting you. You know what you're doing. You're doing a great job. Or thank you for doing this. Sadly, that's when the Judas will show up. And Judas, like I said, is sent to dismantle you. Okay? So just, just be weary that in every group, in every situation, there's always a Judas in the camp. Now, this is part number one. Part two, we'll be talking about, um, and part two will be on the next video. We'll be talking about how Jesus handled the Judas in his camp and how we are supposed to handle the Judases in our camp and ultimately how having a Judas in your life can turn out to be a blessing it may not seem like it at the time when they're socking it to you knocking the wind out of you but a Judas can be a blessing in your life because remember what doesn't kill you it makes you stronger okay well I'm going to end part one right here and I hope that you will join me for part two um, if you enjoy the content of my YouTube channel, please like, subscribe, uh, comment, or share. And as always, until we meet again, bye-bye, my friends.